Hey my crew, it's me here, the Fan J Crew, back with uh, Pokemon Adventures here. But what I got for today is to show you guys and how to look out for fake cards online or fake cards just in general. So what I got here is this Pokemon Sun and Moon and Lost Thunder. It looks legit on paper. So you see how they even have that. They go as far as putting a six plus there in the top corner. But I think even that is a little off. I think, if I'm not mistaken. I wish I had another pack here, but I know this six plus on here. See how it's down? Sorry, focus. That's down a little more. And this is up. See how this is up more? Well, this is kind of down, down more. That's real. This is not. Plus, there's another one I will show you. I will show you also. I think I have it here on the packs. Yeah, the burning shadows. This, here's another uh, false alarm. To look out for is right here. That six plus is supposed to be here, right around here, not here. So if you ever see that online, like Amazon, it's not Amazon's fault, um, or the company that they're selling them. It's not their fault. You can't not fault the company for that. You fault the sellers for that. Even though the company probably should know that they're putting out fake, um, fake stuff out there. But yeah, this is fake. I mean, another way you can tell that these are fake. Let me get this open. These are fake. First of all, no QR code. That's, that's a, uh, sometimes in the newer, <clears throat> newer packs there'll be a QR code. But you can also tell just by the coloring. You get a real card. Like this is real. This is from Chilling Range. This is one of my um, better pulls that I've had in a long time. But this fake, let me see if I can find just a uh, regular. Uh, yeah, see? So let's get a common common card here. Look at the difference. <clears throat> you can tell right away. See how that's so really, really glossy? See how it's very glossy? And this is not really that glossy. This is real. This is fake. And another way that you can do this, I don't really recommend to do this, but let me Feel that, feel that pressure. Like, look how easy that was to bend. Real Pokemon cards should not um, fold that easy. With a real Pokemon card here, see how it's a little more strong, a little more sturdy. <laughs> this is fake, 100% fake. You see how easy that was just to fold? No, I don't recommend you all to do that because this is just the last resort from finding out if they're fake or not. And you can also rip it too to find out if they're fake. But that's the last, last, last resort. And then I will go online here. Um, grab my iPad here. Just for anybody who doesn't know what to look out for. For example, if I can find examples on here. I go to Amazon. Go here. Type in Pokemon cards. Let's 
So, here we have overboard cards. That's another thing. That is crazy. $812. Now, if they're real, see, it's, it's really hard to tell, but that's a lot of money. Only three left. Uh, these ones. That is fake. Now let's see what else we got. These are fake. Don't buy those. Eh, what else? These are real. But people have been saying um, they're just getting that they've been tampered with. And yeah, you see all these here. Don't buy these. Fake. I'm just letting you all know what to look out for. Because real Pokemon cards are pretty pricey. Like even this set here. That's real. Uh, that one's real. Let's see. These ones... These ones are not, not real. These are real. So that's what to look out for online. And also you'll see sometimes if you buy packs, there's that six plus. See how it's in the right, the right angle? That's real. If that six plus uh, is down here, no, don't buy it. That's a big, big, no, no, no. Unfortunately, there are scammers out there that will sell you fake cards. So, I'm just letting you all know what to look out for. These are real. That's a really good price. They're having a lot of good sales lately on Pokemon cards, which is great. That's real. So yeah, that's what to look out for. See what else, if I can find anything else. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I may have to buy these and let you guys know if these are real or fake. So, stay tuned. Uh -oh. I might uh, punch on that. And we'll see. Brilliant stars, I absolutely, that is right here. This is real. I absolutely love uh, Brilliant Stars, the new, new series of that. Amazing. I also love Chilling Range too. Chilling Range is another favorite of mine. But yeah, that is what to look out for when you are buying Pokemon cards, just be careful, do some research before buying, so forth and so on. Thanks for watching and peace out.